Hello friends. So welcome to another session on trigonometry. In this session, we are going to deal with some uh, T ratios for some specific angles. Okay, and uh, we have already seen uh, the various values of T ratios for theta equals to zero and theta equals to ninety in previous sessions. In this session, we are going to discuss what will be the different T ratios for theta is equal to forty five degrees. What does it mean? It means that if there is a triangle ABC and angle A is 90 degrees such that angle C is 45 and hence by angle sum property angle B also is 45 degrees then what will be the va values of different T ratios that is sine 45, cos 45 and all that. Now let us say in triangle ABC AC side AC is equal to AB is equal to A. Both sides are equal. Why? Because since the two angles are equal to 45 degree here, this is 45 and this is also 45. So ABC is an isosceles triangle. ABC, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Correct? Because of this, what will happen? The angles, or sorry, the sides opposite to the equal angles will also be equal. And hence, if AC is A, AB will also be A. Now, since angle BAC is 90 degrees, that means we can apply Pythagoras theorem. So hence BC square is equal to A square plus A square, right? So BC is equal to nothing but under root 2 A square, which is nothing but A times root 2, right? Since there is a square on A, so I can pull it out of the square root sign. So it is A root 2. Now, let us now go for the different T ratios. So hence, sine of 45 degrees. What is sine of any angle? Is nothing but opposite divided by hypotenuse. So opposite is A clearly, and whichever angle you take, whether you take C or B, opposite is A, and the hypotenuse is root 2 times A. So hence, sine 45 will be simply 1 by root 2. Now it doesn't depend on the sides of the triangle. Correct. Anyways, the T ratios never depend on the side length of the triangle. They are since they are ratios. Now, cos of 45, if you can notice, cos of 45 again will be adjacent by hypotenuse. So a upon root 2, a again. So it is again 1 upon root 2. Isn't it? Now tan of 45 degrees is nothing but sine 45 degrees upon cos 45. Either you can take this root and say it is nothing but a upon a a by root 2 sorry i'm sorry it is not uh, it is not a by root 2 it is 1 upon root 2 so it is 1 upon root 2 divided by 1 upon root 2 which is nothing but 1 or you can always say that tan is perpendicular by base so a by a is equal to 1 now what is cosecant 45 degrees so cosecant 45 degrees 1 upon sine 1 upon sine 45 degrees Hence, it is nothing but 1 upon 1 by root 2. Hence, it is root 2. Similarly, secant upon, secant uh, 45, sorry. Now, here I have mentioned an extra theta, right. So, hence, secant 45 degrees is nothing but 1 upon cos 45 degrees is again root 2. Correct. And cot 45 is 1 upon tan. 45 or base by perpendicular whichever way you want to write is 1 right so always remember sine of 45 is 1 by root 2 cos of 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 tan of 45 is 1 cosecant 45 is root 2 secant 45 is root 2 and cot 45 is 1 you must remember these values because they are going to be used multiple number of times in various problem solving thank you